Hello viewers, 4 DIYers here back in the tutorial video for everyone. Now in this particular video here we'll be doing a demonstration on how to read an Imperial Mechanical Digital Vernier Micrometer. Now basically with this uh, micrometer here, considering it is a Vernier Micrometer, this does have an accuracy to uh, 10 thousandths of an inch, so basically four decimal places. Now as you can see here we do have a uh, mechanical digital readout here. And then this basically goes to uh, a thousandths of an inch accuracy, and we also have a vernier on the uh, sleeve portion here, which does give us that extra fourth decimal place. Now with this readout here, basically what we can do is just take the um, reading from here, instead of actually having to go around and manually read what the lines are and the correspondent numbers are on the thimble itself and also the sleeve as well. Now if you are noticing this, micrometer is slightly larger than the one I showed in my previous video here. That is because this micrometer is designed to take measurements from one inch to two inches. Now if you do purchase one that does take measurements over the one inch scale, so you'll say you'll have another one that can go from two to three inches, three to four inches, so on and so forth, you will have a dummy block which is also included in this and it does have a size according to what the uh, size of your micrometer is. Now what this uh, is intended to be is to ensure that it is zeroed and it does have an accurate reading here. So basically when you do close this all up here and it is snugged up using the ratchet on this dummy block here, you will notice that the reading here is 1.000 and the thimble is also set to zero as well as the vernier on the opposite side. Now if you do find that it isn't uh, set to that uh, appropriate reading then you can go ahead and these are adjustable, uh, both the sleeve and the mechanical readout. Now just to name off the parts here, now one of the measuring surfaces here is the anvil. Now the one does move back and forth. The other measuring surface is the spindle. Next we'll have the lock here which locks the spindle in place. Now as I mentioned before these locks do vary. Now this one here is just a screw type lock. Again we'll have the framework here. Now this portion here is the uh, mechanical digital readout and this readout does go to a thousandths uh, of an inch accuracy, so three decimal places. Now in order to achieve that uh, fourth decimal place, or the ten thousandths decimal place, we will have a vernier on the opposite side of the sleeve here as well. Now again, this is the sleeve portion here, and we also have the thimble, and we have the ratchet here which is intended to ensure that the equal pressure is applied to whenever measuring an object. So that ensures we do have an accuracy. Now anytime when you are using your micrometer, you always want to ensure that it is zeroed uh, to ensure that it is accurate. Now again, when you are doing that, you want to make sure when you are using your little dummy block here, you want to make sure the surfaces are clean on that, and you want to make sure your surfaces are clean on the anvil, and as well as the surface on the uh, spindle as well. Now in order to clean that, you can go ahead and use just a little bit of degreaser, or you can just use a piece of paper just to rub off any of the debris built up on that. Now when taking a reading from a mechanical digital micrometer here. As you can see it's fairly straightforward here. We don't actually have to take the measurements as I mentioned earlier from the thimble and sleeve. What we can do is just view the readout here. Now just to go as an example here, basically what this uh, measurement will be, if we are just going to three decimal places, will be 1.058 inches. Now if we are going for the extra decimal place, which is the ten thousandths uh, decimal place, we will have to read this vernier scale on the opposite side here, which I'll show you how to do in a minute. So in order to achieve that fourth decimal place here, we'll be using this scale here, which is known as the vernier. As you can see here, we do have various lines here along with numbers, and we will have the lines on the thimble here. Now basically these corresponding lines have to line up with one of these here to determine what the final number is with the uh, thimble. Now basically here, as you can see, four doesn't line up well, five does line up good, and then we go past the 5, go to 6, and you can see it doesn't line up well. So we're using the 5 for the 4th uh, decimal place there. So basically we're left with a final measurement of 1.0585 inches. Now we're taking the final measurement here. Basically if we're just using a standard mechanical digital micrometer here, we would le be left with a final measurement here of 1.058 inches. Now if we are using the vernier micrometer which does have the extra digit here, the fourth digit, we would be left with a final number of 1.0585 inches. Therefore that gives us the accuracy to ten thousandths of an inch. 
Now, as an example here, what I have here, I just stuck a bolt in here just to take the measurement here. Again, if I'm doing a measurement here with using the one to two inch micrometer, we want to make sure that wherever we're measuring here is over the one inch mark, but under the two inch mark. So with this example here, basically, just as simple as reading the mechanical digital L readout here, if we are going to the third decimal place here, basically we're left with a measurement of 1.719 inches. Now, if we want to go to the fourth decimal place here, we'll have to use the vernier. Using the vernier here around the sleeve, we'll determine which line does line up best on the thimble here. So just going through, we can see the one lines up the best. So basically that'll give us with the final measurement of 1.7191 inches. So again, that gives us the accuracy to the ten thousandths of an inch. Now, if we are just using the standard micrometer here and we're just wanting to achieve the three decimal places here, basically we're left with a final measurement of 1.719 inches. Now, if we want to achieve that fourth decimal place, so we want to have that accuracy to ten thousandths of an inch, we'll be left with this final measurement of 1.7191. So this concludes the rest of my tutorial video. If you have any comments or questions, please don't hesitate to post them below. Also, please subscribe to my channel and like my video. Thank you for watching.